Right here we have some yuccas. I remember back when we were kids, one of the stupidest things in the world, we used to throw these things at each other. I put them in slingshots and shoot them at each other, use them as spears. But this is the yucca plant. The root can be used later on during the season. You'll start to see some flowers come out. And those flowers are edible and so is the fruit that's inside of that. But what we're gonna be using the yucca for today is creating a wetting agent for our seed starting mix. If you look in most of the potting mixes, this is some miracle Grow, and I just got this for the purpose of the video. But if you look on the back of this, right here, it gives you the ingredients. Now this is not organic, but if you look on stuff like Espoma, Espoma has it on there, it's 80% peat moss, or 20% perlite, however that mixture is, but it basically comes down to a soilless mix. And if you're familiar with peat moss or cocoa core, if you allow it to dry out, it's really hard to get it to saturate again. So what you need is that wetting agent, and that wetting agent is what distributes the water and keeps it evenly moist throughout. So what I'm gonna do here, is just go ahead and basically just show you how simple it is to make this extract. And all I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna open up my mason jar there. So basically you just, just taking your knife. And that is what you come up with. And a butter knife works really good because it allows you to go between the cordage. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a second here. And you flip it over. There's more. You see that cordage there? And they used to use this as thread back in the days. So, but like I said, I like to take a butter knife and just the little ridges on the butter knife and it gets right between that cordage and it scrapes it off pretty good. Now you're gonna leave this in for about at least a week and let it ferment. You don't want to fill this jar up all the way. You want to get at least a quarter of the jar filled with the yucca and then fill maybe another quarter of jar, leaving a quarter space up top because what's going to happen is as it ferments, it's going to expand. And the saponins is what we're looking for. That's a good one there. All of that. Once again, you see what I'm talking about how the cordage is just left over. Take your pair of scissors, cut it off. When you get down to the, the ends of it, it starts to pull off less of the pulp. So you can just move on to the next one. Do you see how much of that stuff comes out of there? But I'm gonna let you see what it does when you add this in here. Just a few drops of water. You see this? This is soap. Just that fast. Look at that deep dark green. Just in those little pieces there. So what I have here is one that's been sitting up for a week. Now, when I open this, you're gonna have some pressure come off. Did you hear that? If this whole thing makes five gallons, it's the top of this in our gallon jug here. lemonade look. Of course, you can go dip it in this because this is all organic. It's not going to hurt anything. But you'll see the suds at the top. Let's 
going to be mixing in a potting soil. Because I'm only doing one of the 12 cell trays today, I'm not going to mix up a whole lot. So I'm going to take two cups of our peat moss, one cup of our perlite, and then I'm going to do one cup of our vermiculite. So basically that's just 50% peat moss, 25% perlite, and 25% vermiculite. And we're just going to mix that up. It makes this little fluffy mix. That's what we're making. And then what we're gonna do is pour our wetting agent in there. We want our seed started mix to be moist and not wet. We're gonna wring that out. That's what we want. If it's too wet, you're gonna drown your seeds because in the beginning our seedlings have everything that they need. For the first two weeks or until they get their first true leaves, it's gonna be water, light, a little warmth, and oxygen. Nice fluffy mix. We'll take our cell tray. And we're gonna fill it to the top. We're not gonna pack it. I'm gonna pack it with our hand. We're just gonna fill it to the top. And we're not packing that down. Now, once we get that filled to the top, we're gonna pack it start to sink because whatever the depth is of the seeds that we're planting we want about that much left on to the top after we pat this down and you'll see we got about a quarter of an inch on each of the cells so we're gonna get this out of the way my pack here of heirloom purple sprout and broccoli and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add three seeds per cell and you can see here on all my other trays when they start to come up and what I do is I'm not gonna thin mine like most people do I'm actually gonna take them out and I'm gonna repot each one individually and those that I don't need I'll end up giving them away to friends and family it's what I do every year take one of these gloves off we pack there take our yucca extract and we're gonna pour that into a spray bottle and we're gonna strain it off. We're gonna go down and we're gonna do two squirts for every cell. We get our soil gonna top those off. And we're not gonna pack it down. Once again, we're not packing it down. Whatever the planting depth of whatever seed it is that you're trying to germinate, you wanna leave that amount. And then we're gonna tap it down again. Like we say we're not gonna pack it in. We just wanna tap it down. Take our wedding agent again and do two more. And that's it. And we're gonna take our humidity dome and we're gonna place it on top. And 
and we're going to put it inside in a warm area and this is going to start creating the condensation that we're going to need now this seed starter mix that we've made here this should have your seeds germinating within two to five days so if your germination rate on your pack say five to ten days you can almost cut your germination rate in half and once my germination starts and I see maybe half of the tray starts to pop up, I'm gonna take the humidity dome off of it and that's when I'm gonna apply my light. And I'm gonna have my light maybe two inches away from the cell tray and this way your plants don't grow up to be leggy and make your own wetting agent from the yucca plant and we're growing out the box.